What's up guys, it's Bucky and welcome to your 17th tutorial on electronics and robotics. Now in the last tutorial I talked to you guys about resistors and how they had fixed values when uh, giving resistance or in other words the resistance stayed the same all the time. And the circuits we built, the LEDs brightness was based on uh, the value of your resistor where the more it resists uh, the dimmer it was and the lesser it resists therefore the brighter it was. But people started thinking and they thought, wouldn't it be nice if they could value the resistance in a circuit without having to rip out the resistors or change it? Because it's a real pain in the butt. And that's why they came up with something called potentiometer. Let me show you guys if I can zoom in. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But that's what a potentiometer is right there. And pretty much unlike a resistor, this is pretty much a resistor. It is. But instead of having a fixed value, you change the value of it by turning the knob on it. That little white knob right there, you turn that and it changes the value of resistance. Now, a thing that you need to take note of, all of these potentiometers or all potentiometers you're ever, you will ever work with can be set to zero. All of these can give zero resistance and allow electricity to pass right through. There's a value printed on the top of them this one is 50,000. Come on, zoom in. See 50K right there? That is the max value for the potentiometer. So all can be set somewhere in a range from 0 ohms to 50,000 ohms in this case. The max value is the only thing that differs. So today, I'm going to be working with a trim pot potentiometer. And this is short for a trimmer potentiometer. So um, let me zoom up and show you guys how this works. 